What's up y'all, it's Obo Summer Fix and I'm back with a new video and today I want to talk about this Nasdaq trade. This is art right here guys, this is absolutely art guys. Uh, this is a masterpiece, come on. Crazy trade, it was taken on the 1 minute frame, 1 minute with the seconds also, the combination, you know, that combo. Um, and uh, yeah, it went for 10 RR. Snapper exists, snapper entry. You know how your boy do it. Simple, easy, and clean. Let me just break down the trade. I want to start from the higher frames, such as the daily or the four hour, maybe. Uh, but I'll just break it down on the four hour because on the daily, you cannot see a lot of things. We just understand that we're going up bullish and we are in a uh, discounted area right here. On the four hour, there's a lot of talking right here. So. I just pull up my Fibonacci right here. You can definitely see that uh, we are in a discounted area, right? And the price gave reaction from this uh, discounted area. So it makes sense for me to look for buys. And then there is this change of character on the four hour chart. We did have this uh, break of structure for the downside. And then the market pushed back up, making a change of character and change our shifting trend or whatever you want to call it, change, changing character, changing trend shifting trend all these type of you know things um but yeah we did, we did have that change of character on the four hour um and i was like so before i took this trade the market was right here so let me just put on the replay bar so the market was sitting right here and i was like well if if nasdaq is going to retrace we're going to tap some sort of of a demand or something interesting in this area right so First thing that marked was my four hour uh, demand zone like that. So I, pu I put a line for me to understand that, okay, when I uh, um, come closer to this area, I will start and look for buys. Okay, that was my thing that I was focusing on. This area right here, this four hour block or this four hour demand zone, right? So, um, and then I was like, if I want to get a trade right here, I want to see the market really confirming that it's going to be bearish. So I want to see a break of this low, okay, or some sort of a sweep or the market failed to make a new high, something interesting right here that can confirm that the market wants to go down and start that, you know, retracement phase, okay, I can call it. Uh, retracement means that the market, you know, doesn't always push up. It means that the market will eventually drop. It doesn't fully change trend. Okay, but we change trend on the lower frame so we can tap lower prices so the price uh, so the price can push up higher. Okay, after we push lower here. So this is the healthy price action. Um, when we have healthy price action, we need um, retracements. All right, or for us to have healthy price action, we need retracements. Okay, so if I drop on the 15 minute and play out the market right here. You can definitely see that my break of structure was right here, okay? So, as you guys know, I really like timing on Nasdaq, okay? There's nothing such as coincidence here, all right? So, again, I wanted to see that confirmation. So, this is my confirmation. That's it. I'm going to start with that retracement phase, all right? And take profit wise, before I even get into the trade, I was not looking at take profits, but I was looking to long. Okay, I was looking to short and then long the market. So I was like, there is this four hour block, but there's definitely reason for the market to drop, you know, within this area. So I marked my four hour, um, uh, four hour block, my one hour gap, and then on 30 minute, the 30 minute gap. Okay. So if I mark my 30 minute gap, this is relevant because I have reason to drop lower and fill this gap, right? Uh, I'm not sure. I didn't look at the 15 minutes. Oh, no, I didn't. I looked at the 30 minute. That's the only frame because I didn't want to go too refined. I wanted to get the sweet time frame. Okay, so if I went too refined, which means that I just went smaller and smaller and smaller with my imbalance area that I wanted to see to be filled. If it was on the 15 minute, it also would have been filled. Let me check on the five minute. Yeah, see, so on the five minute, we didn't even tap this uh, this area. We did not fill this area. So if I refine my area of interest too much, I'll miss it. I'll miss my whole thing. Okay, it will not be a snapper exit. So if I, well, I could have refined it to the 15 minute, 
but it's almost the same all right there's some, there's some difference but it's all, almost the same i put on on the 30 minute and then again the four hour the big one and that's how i started to trade so the, i saw this break of structure and i waited for th uh, 4 30 and then nothing really crazy again simple concept i wanted to short and then long the market okay that was my expectations i want to you know retrace make a healthy market and then continue with the trend continue with the high time frame trend okay that was my expectations before i get into all the all the smaller details okay so that's the you know high time frame thing that i saw the outlook um and then i drop on the one minute that's what i wish we would do and the wait for the market open right here maybe if i can drop to the 15 seconds you will start and you will start and understand that this area showed me a lot of um confluences of a lot of uh, uh let's say reasons for the market to drop so a build up of liquidity right here okay the market pushed up swept some sort of a uh, a candle right here so that's a sweep right here break of structure uh idm or inducement liquidity the market making liquidity push down and then this push down right here with a candle closure okay below my low right here is a confirmation that i don't want to push higher i want to go lower hence why i entered this trade right here okay and then there's my first supply right about there okay so again let me just make a simple sweep or first of all build of liquidity push back up sweep the traders from here okay drop big structure closure of the candle push back up mitigate my zone fill my imbalance and then drop my entry was based on the one second i'm not telling you to buy the training view and go trade on the one second and go crazy that's not what i'm saying but you could have entered the trade even on the five minute and i will show you i will show you in a minute but let me drop on the one second and i'll show you how i entered if you got the one second congratulations but if you don't or you some people cannot afford it which is well you know, understandable it's all right you can enter at the one minute you can enter based on the engulfing there's a lot of ways to enter all right but for me i entered right here so the market open did all of this thing that i talked about push back up <clears throat> tap my supply <clears throat> sorry tap my supply and then i waited for anything interesting right here I wanted to see a sign of the market trying to push lower. Okay, boom, 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 boom. But the market pushed lower. That's my entry right there. Okay, that's my entry. Stop loss above the high. Make it a little bit with space above this high, sorry. That's my zone. Okay, stop loss above the high. Take profit. First TP right here. What five? Second take profit. And this is 30 minute low. One to 10 dollar trade. So let me delete all of these things. So now you understand the trade. It's some. It's simple. It's nothing like crazy, you know. Um, let me go on the one minute. Perfect. And you can definitely see that it just started to melt. All right. And then it kept melting, 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 melting. And I see my profits right here. Exactly right here at this point. So again, amazing trade. Uh, it was zero drawdown trade i entered boom it started dropping uh crazy trade i really like it i didn't really expect it to just continue melting and melting and melting uh to be honest <clears throat> but um yeah that's a shade so let's say you cannot afford all right you cannot afford the five uh, the sorry the uh full trading view package or whatever so if you cannot afford this for me there's a re-entry all right <coughs> sorry there's your entry here let me show you how so on the one minute let me just delete these things all right so we're talking about the uh break of structure okay so we got this break of structure right here all right that's after my entry I enter right here i will show you the re-entry so break uh break of structure so the market mitigated this order block okay we drop and then we close okay focus on this one we close below my low right here which confirms that the mic wants to drop lower and lower okay which means that i could enter a trade so if this was my scenario right here that's my re-entry this is my area 
why am I um, marking this PY? Because on the seconds, if I drop, it's a push up and a push lower. So it's a break of structure technically. Okay. Again, if I go on the one minute, that's a push up and drop. So it's something. So this PA is something like this, a push up and then a drop. And then I'll mark my zone based off of the imbalance right here. So this is my imbalance for now. Boom. The market goes back up, taps your zone, taps your limit. Stop loss, you can put it at the zone because if it goes higher, then it's invalid trade. And then you can put your take profit at the slow. Okay. And I think it's even, yeah, it's 11 or even more than my entry. Okay. So this is also a type of free entry or a way to catch the wave. Okay. The falling knife or whatever you want. If you cannot afford the one second. So yeah, again, it's nothing crazy. It's super simple. And there's a full strategy about uh, how I take trades like that. And how I look at Nasdaq, how I trade Nasdaq, how I will have confidence to trade Nasdaq. There's a full out strategy in my course, in my Discord. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll be happy to answer your questions. Anything they have, I'll be happy to answer. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.